Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is part two of the series two uh, clutch issue. Um, had a delivery this morning of a new clutch belt uh, which is in this box and a new clutch spring as the other one was uh, not very strong to be honest. Um, Genuine part 46 teeth, which I've not counted, which I will do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Definitely forty six tooth. Uh, I'm just going to hold it up in yeah exactly the same so as we were saying in the previous video that one's got a Kush drive on it original series 2 um, anyone's interested in that let me know and I've got a brand new Scooters India uh, clutch bell which is going to go into the series 2 in about five minutes time I'll just uh, need to check the um, clutch spider goes in perfect Perfect. I'm not using the shim, I'm still using the two uh, single bearings as uh, in a chent. There's nothing wrong with them, so they're going to go in uh, onto my clutch bell spider. Sorry. Some oil. Uh, I'm going to talk that up to um, Scooters India recommend 48, uh, 48 and a half to 50 odd. So if I do it to 49, I'm banging the middle. Uh, that should be fine. So I'm going to remove the uh, camera, stick it down in front of the engine, and we'll see about sticking that on then. Right, we're down on the engine, so I'm going to take the new clutch bell and stick that in the chain. Again, kneeling down is never ideal, but uh, we'll get there. in and I'm just going to put some gearbox oil on the bearings quite a fair bit there actually move the uh, it's about right three quarters of a, an inch to half an inch but uh, I probably will move that up just a tad just take that bit of play out the um, chain so we've got our new washer and I'm putting on I'm reusing the original um, nut because there's no reason not to nothing wrong with it and my uh, clutch holder that one Thank you. 
special holding tool. Perfect. <coughs> I just want to set the uh, torque wrench up to uh, it's, it's at 50, so we'll see how that goes. to do now is bend over <clears throat> the tab not yourself I'm just going to put my uh, rehab one back on again I always keep the uh, the 27 mil socket for the rear hub it's always on the socket and it's always on my torque wrench so that can come off there again Still spinning freely. Fine. Right, let's get that socket out of the way. A bit of gearbox oil. And So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to loosen these two and just slightly move the chain up a bit, take that bit of play out. Again, these are bent over there and there on the here. I've uh, I've got a new tab washer for there. So I'm just going to um, flatten that off. somewhere let's have a look where it's gone
some flaming nut sockets. Decided to go walkies, but I've got a bigger socket anyway, so there it is. Never mind. Socket out the way. So right, I'm going to replace that with a new one. Should be up on there. In this bolts back so I can find it. Our new washer stroke holder. So I'm just going to put actually, I probably need to shift down so I can get in line with it. Hopefully, the camera's not in the way. Right, here we go. better so that's in line with the bottom one When my hands in are in the way here but it is a bit hard to uh, to just guess where it is Mission impossible. Let's try the top one then. A little bit less fussy. That's in. So we want our bottom bolt. Yeah, and these are a lot harder than um, the adjustable ones because you've got everything to line up on them. That nut is not in properly. But there we go. Right, so I'm just going to do it finger tight at the moment. That's probably about where it needs to be camera's banging the way but never mind sorry if I keep butting into it I'm just gonna um, do this finger tight never-ending bolt 
I can feel it starting to tighten up now. Yeah, that's that's perfect. And the bottom one. Again with these, it's uh, the usual finger tight and a quarter of a turn. Again, these are often stripped out by people that go overboard with them. That's it. Then again, we've got to bend the tabs back. I'm going to do it this side this time because it's just easier. Get that under there. And bend it back. I was on the lead funny now, but yeah, that's fine. It's nice and even. Still got some silicon there. Rub again the tab. Use my five holes again. Just crimp that up. They're not going anywhere. Just give that a wipe again. Again, I've got a bit of oil coming out of the gearbox, but uh, I'm quite happy with that. It's nice and free. turn the engine over a few times not backwards we'll do yeah loads of compression yeah turning freely nice No movement there. And there, it's perfect. Right, that's basically um, where I want to be today. I'm just showing you again the original spring compared to a replacement. Again, that's a GP one. That's an original Ally, which is very weak, to be honest. Whereas that one is a lot stronger. That's going on the clutch arm. Um, what else have I got there? The bolts I'm not using. Got springs. All I'm waiting for basically now is the uh, the clutch plates. When I get the clutch plates, we can uh, put the, put the clutch in. Give it a try obviously exhaust back on again give her a try and see how she runs but uh, that's about it on this video for today once again thank you for watching anyway that's all for now take care bye